Hi, this is Russell Sanar from teachertrainingvideos.com. Apart from running the YouTube channel and the website, I am actually a teacher that teaches online. I run lots and lots of online courses for various universities, as well as my own courses. And I thought what I'd do today is just show you some of the ideas that have really worked for me. And the point that you're going to see with the way that I work is that I often combine things and try to make life as easy for myself as possible. So I really take the pressure off myself. I'm gonna work with free tools. They're all free, they're all easy to use. And I'm really hoping that some of these ideas I'm gonna show you might inspire you in your own teaching and learning. Let's get started. And as always, if you like the video, please like it, please share it with other teachers. And of course, if you've got any comments, leave them in the part below. Let's get started. So in this first idea, I combine two technologies. I've done this several times. It's worked really well. I ask the students a question and collaboratively, they go onto Padlet and record their answers. And I'm gonna show you an example in a minute. Now, it would be very difficult for me to give the feedback to everyone individually. So what I do is then I listen to their recordings and it's a good idea to limit them to say recording for two minutes. And then I take notes. I then open up screen capture technology and record one summary of all the interesting points they've made. And then I share that in the Padlet so that people can listen to a summary. It's worked really well and I've used the technique many times. Let me actually show you what that looks like sorry what that looks like so if I open up this Padlet now I was working with just one group of students because this is actually quite a small group there's only 16 students if you had big classes you might need to organize this into groups but I asked a question and I asked everyone to record their answers they could write them if they had trouble using the recorder most people did a recording I simply listened to the recordings and took notes on the most interesting points now one little tip is that it's a good idea to say please don't record for say more than two minutes that's a really good idea now what I then did as I said is I took all of these points I opened up a word document and I simply wrote out the key points and then I opened up screen capture technology recorded myself making a summary and then I sent I actually put the summary online but I could have for example added the summary here I could have actually added it online as a video then the students could listen to the summary so it's a great way of summarizing a collaborative activity that your students have created now let me show you how I did that so I listened to all the recordings and I wrote down the key points that people were making I then opened up screen cast o -matic, and I simply recorded myself and you can do this for free by just clicking there and then clicking on launch free recorder let me just go back again and just make that clear. Click on here, then click on launch free recorder and it opens up a little recorder that allows you to make a quick video and you'll see it come up onto the screen any second now. And there it is, really quick to use. Now if I come back, if I just minimize the browser and come back to the Padlet, I can literally now just click on this button here and record a quick summary. Okay, just want to go through the key points that you've made in today's Padlet discussion. First of all, a lot of you were talking about the importance of differentiation and how the flipped classroom can benefit differentiation because you can produce activities, blah, 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 blah. Once I finish my recording, just click on the button there, click on done, and that recording is actually instantly available. I, I can actually play that recording back and listen. Okay, just wanna go through the key points that you've made in today's Padlet. Now, once I've done that recording, I could save it on my computer, I could upload it to my Google Drive, or I could upload it to YouTube if you've connected it to your YouTube channel. Probably the easiest thing to do is just to simply save that recording onto your computer. Good idea is to click here and give it a name, okay? whatever name you want to give it, make sure you're going to put it on the desktop, click on publish. You've then got that video. You could then upload that into Padlet or you could save that on Moodle or save that on Edmodel, etc. So what we've looked at there is two different aspects of really, or two ideas for teaching online. First of all, using Padlet as a collaborative tool. 
and getting students to record their ideas rather than write them down, which can be a lot quicker. Don't forget to limit the amount of time. And then secondly, I've used screen capture as a way of summarizing the key points. This can save me a lot of time because I don't have to individually go back to every student. Just for a few seconds, gonna take you away from the video just to say, if you like what you see and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's even a special section on teaching online. And if you wanna keep up with my work, sign up to the newsletter, that way you get updated with all the latest videos, the blog posts, the webinars, the online courses. And also at the moment, if you sign up, you get a free six part training course in using uh, technology for teaching online. Let's get back to the video. Now the next tool I'm gonna to introduce you to is a tool called Mentimeter. And this I often do when I'm doing a Zoom session, but this could also be done in lots of other ways. It's particularly useful, for example, in a flipped classroom. In other words, let's just go through the process. I've done a session on Zoom. I've got to a certain point and I want to collect together students' questions. So I create a Mentimeter, I share the link with the students. The students write their questions in the Mentimeter and then I can go through and answer the questions one by one. Now another thing that you can do is that if you haven't got time to answer the questions during the session is you can actually record your answers again using Screencast-O-Matic and then share those questions or answers with the students. This is really powerful. Now I could also do the same thing in a flipped classroom context. Students watch a video for homework and then I ask them to write questions that they're thinking about after watching the video in the Mentimeter. Then in the lesson, we go through the questions and discuss the answers. Again, a lovely way of working. Let me show you first of all an example of what I mean, then I'll show you how I did it. So as I said, this would generally be at the end of a Zoom session, or it could be the exercise that you've asked the students to do for homework after perhaps watching a video or reading an article. You simply share a link where they add up all their questions, but what I like is the way that Mentimeter shares the questions. Now let's say it's the end of a Zoom session, you've shared the link with the students, they click on the link, they write in their questions, I'll show you in a minute how that happens, and then what you can do is present this in the Zoom session. And then you can go step by step through the questions that they ask. So for example, can we use the same questions more than once? And the answer is uh, in Mentimeter, no. Once you've gone through the question, then you can't go back to it. But you click here, then the next question, can you use these exercises with all kinds of students? The answer would be yes, of course you can. So you can see as I've collected together all the questions that the students want to answer me, I can answer them one by one. Once I've answered the question, I click on this button here, and uh, then I can answer the question, etc. Now, it would also be possible to do this rather than at the end of a Zoom lesson, to just record your answers after the session and then send that video to the students. And that would be really easy to do. Let me just show you. So I would just open up the screen capture recorder. You're gonna to wanna to make it nice and big for this one. So let's put it nice big size like so. Then jump back to the Mentimeter. Okay, as you can see, I probably need, need it bigger. And then what I could do is I could go through question by question by clicking on the button here. And recording my answers blah 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 and just go through the answers click on the stop button click on done save that recording there it is and then share it and send it to the students that would be a really good way of working if you don't want to answer the questions during the live lesson remember what you could also do with this idea is that you could do this, for example, in a, um, sorry, let me just close that down, in a um, Zoom, sorry, in a flip classroom where you've asked the students to watch a video, you've then shared a link to a Mentimeter, they put their questions up there, and then in the lesson, you then answer those questions. Let me quickly show you how Mentimeter works. This really couldn't be any easier. I'm gonna to come to my homepage. I'm gonna click on new presentation. I'm gonna call this Q and A session. Okay, uh, number two. Okay, 
let me just delete that. I don't know what I did wrong now. I'm going to click on create presentation. And all I do is this simple is I click over here, choose Q and A, write the question. So I'm going to say, what do you think about the flipped classroom? Let's imagine that's what I want to share as the question I want to share with my students. Nothing else for me to do. I simply click on the share button here and I share this link with my students. I'm going to copy link and I'm going to show you what that looks like now for the student. So the student would click on the Mentimeter and click on open Q&A, write their question in, for example, what is the name of the technology you use to make your videos? and then submit it, simple as that. And they can submit more questions if they want to as well, so they can write another question. All of those questions will come back to the teacher. I'll just write one more question just to, to show you how it looks afterwards. So what do you do for your, or do in your free time? Okay, let's imagine someone's asking me that question. I'm just thinking of any old thing really. Now what I'm gonna do is jump back as the teacher we're back in teacher mode. And if I now close the window and present that, the questions come up on the screen. And once I've answered that question, then the next question would come up on the screen, etc. Wonderful technology that can be used in loads of different ways. Really effective in a flipped classroom situation and really effective at the end of a Zoom or a live session when you want to collect together the students' ideas. If you've got time, go through the answers at the end of the session. If you haven't, do a video where you record your answers. Really hope that video was useful. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos. Um, special section on teaching online. Don't forget as well to sign up to the newsletter. That way you get updated with all the latest blog posts, the webinars, the online courses, and of course the new videos that go up. And um, at the moment, if you sign up, you also get a free six part training course in using technology. And um, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on the bell so that you get the video updates on YouTube. And finally, if you do want to contact me about doing some training with your organization, doing lots of work these days around Zoom and working with Camtasia, working with YouTube, then please contact me and thank you very much.